In a previous tutorial, we saw how to read and write values to pins on the Arduino using analog and digital input and output nodes. That covered the basics, but a lot of components you'll want to use in your project require more code to work with. This tutorial goes over the custom Arduino node, which lets you write Arduino code right into a node. For just about any component you want to use, you can find a good code example for getting it to work in an Arduino program. This is great, but when you have more than one component in your project, your code quickly becomes hard to manage. Embryo solves this problem by keeping the code for each component encapsulated by its own custom Arduino node, so it can be easily integrated into a larger program without adding much complexity. There is a library of pre-made custom nodes that is maintained on the website, which you can browse and search. When you open Embryo, it gets the current list of built-in nodes from the website so that they can be added directly in the program. To add a pre-filled node, right-click and go to the Input Output Custom Arduino Node Library menu and find the component you want. All you have to do now is set your pin values. Nodes in Embryo serialize to XML, so it's easy to copy and share them. If you select a node, copy it, and then paste it into Notepad, you can see that the node is defined by XML, which can be easily shared, which is how the library is built up on the website. If you paste some XML that defines a node into the Embryo software, a copy of that node is automatically created. When there is no pre-built node for what you want to do, the best process is to get the example working in the Arduino IDE so you know your device is wired correctly and that the code works. Then copy and paste the code into the corresponding section on a custom Arduino node. The first three code sections are pretty self-explanatory. The first box is where you put any include statements that your code needs. If you need to use code in an external code file that isn't part of the Arduino library, you need to attach the files to your project using the include files form. Get to it from the view menu or in the right click menu on a custom Arduino node. Simply select the files that need to be included and they will be copied to the compile folder when your program is compiled. Next is the declaration section. This is where you define any variables used by your node. These variables are available to just the node they are entered on not to other nodes in the project. Next is the setup code section. This is the code that runs in Arduino setup function when the program starts. You can add inputs and outputs to your node by either right-clicking on the node and selecting what to add, or by using the buttons on the top of the node. Like all inputs and outputs, you can rename them by middle-clicking on them or selecting rename from the right-click menu, and change the order they appear by selecting move up or move down from the right-click menu. Now that your inputs and outputs are added, you need to set up where and when the code executes. Add a code block by clicking on the big button. A node can have multiple code blocks. There are four possible events to set for when the code block runs. First is on every update. In the bottom right of the node screen is a refresh rate dropdown that lets you set how often nodes on that screen update. By default, it's 32 times per second. By selecting every update, the code in this block will fire every time this node screen updates. Next is on input change. When this option is selected, a checkbox list shows up with all of the inputs on your node that have a change event. Select one or more inputs, and when any of their values change, this code will fire. Next is the startup event. This code runs just once when the program starts up. Finally is the trigger event. This one is only available when you have input triggers defined on your node. The second dropdown lets you pick which trigger to attach to. Once you have a code event set up, you can copy and paste the Arduino code into it. The last step is to interface the values from the Arduino code with the input or outputs defined on the node. To access an embryo input or output in code, you type the word input or output starting with a capital letter, then an underscore, then the name of the input or output without any spaces. To do things like set text and transform numbers and activate triggers, you use the built-in functions which are available on the help page. For a simple example, to convert a long value from an Arduino analog read function, you have to convert from the range of 0 through 1023 to the range of 0 through 1. To do this, you'd use the transform function. The first parameter is the value to transform, the next two define the minimum and maximum values of the input range, and the last two define the minimum and maximum of the output range. Custom Arduino nodes can be both an input or an output node, and like other input and output nodes in Embryo, they require a connection refresh when they are edited. Once you are done with your code, either connect to the Arduino or refresh the active connection and you can interact with your hardware components in real time. Custom Arduino nodes make it easy to integrate almost any hardware with your Embryo projects.